What is up guys, Matt from School Buses, and today we're on Gran Turismo 7, now it's going to be Gone with the Wind uh, missions, all gold, that's Moby Dick. So, let's go and do this. Alright, here we go. We're going to go underneath the Alpha Romeo, right here. Like, right, we're going to break, then like, roll half power, then full power, nice sweet exit. Gonna hit the brakes pretty early and then gonna come off the brakes and let it roll because we're gonna try and catch up to the McLaren. Same again, we're gonna brake pretty early and then keep on top of the McLaren because we're gonna go around the outside. And then when BMW is gonna come, I'm gonna go overtake him on the right. It's gonna compromise our. Exit speed, but hopefully we can carry enough. Right, yes, we carried enough. I think so, because we are catching the R35. So, we're going to brake nice and early. Let it roll. And we're just going to tail him all the way around. Again, we're going to go around the outside. Hit the brakes pretty early, so we get the corner. And we're just going to try and block him. And keep in front of him, and that is it. That's how you get first position. Okay guys, so we're on the mission number two for the Gone with the Wind. I'm going to start on racing hard. Uh, got these particular thingy set. You know what, I'm going to go for softs. Going to get the softs on. There's my suspension settings. Got my nitrous down there. I'm on racing uh, for the customizable and I've got me high RPM so let's go and do this absolutely put the foot down straight in going for the wets we get the fuel in Right, here we go. Now we can serve fuel. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to jump in the pits because I've got 50% fuel left. And I'm going to sh shove on the intermediates. Uh, oh wait, don't fuel. Just swap the tyres and we're just moving on to intermediates. Get a quicker stop than everyone else. There we go. Four laps. I've got one more lap in it. No then. Right, we're gonna get the wets on. I'm gonna get some fuel in. I lap too soon, but I just spun it. Oh. How am I last? Like net last.
The intermediate's coming on right now. Oh, the fueling, the fueling. I'm not unlucky. Quick tie change, and they're out on intermediate, so am I. I'll keep my tyres on. I think. No, the softs are coming on. The softs are coming on. Fuck it, the softs are coming on. Get the fuel in. I need two laps. Give me 50% and I'm done. Oh, we're done. We'll go. We'll go. It's right in front of us. Me first is him. Oh, here we go. It's all or nothing now. All or nothing. Last lap. She use everything we've got. We ain't got enough power on, have we? Absolutely got burning with nitrous as well. Just keep it nice and neat, it's final lap. Don't spin it, nice and neat. Use the nitrous on the way out, and there we go. And that's it, 22 lap, or 23 lap, race! Woo -hoo -hoo. Right, okay, so, so our first go at this. So we're gonna come on the inside of the McLaren. We're going to skip past the 4GT and we're going to follow the Ferrara. And now we're going to head over to the Ventador LP. And there we go, we have done it! And there we go, that was pretty easy. Okay, guys, we're going to start off in seventh gear so let's go and do this I'm just gonna simply late roll over the hill 
And uh, it's just going to play the waiting game, the rolling game, and uh, yeah. If it's going to get over. There we go. We're just going to play the rolling game. And that's pretty much it. So I'll tell you when to put on the throttle, if we need be. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're in 7th gear. Fuel map is on 6, and we're just going to let it roll all the way down the hill. I don't know why it drives automatically. I think that's because it's in gear. Right, what we're going to do, coming up to the next hill, we're going to give it a tiny bit of revs. Going to drop it down a gear. All right, now we're over. I'm going to put it back into seventh and I'm just going to let it roll now. That's it. Okay, I might have gone left a bit too slow. Here we go, we're going to roll now, all the way down into the corner. Because I know where the next hill is going to be. Right, what we're going to do is try and give it a bit of momentum going up so we don't lose the speed. There we go. We gave it a bit of momentum and we kept the speed. Even though we're still on a bit of an incline. But we should have enough just to get all the way around. Avoid going up the kerbs, obviously, because it slows you down. Alright, we're going to have to break. Oh, wrong, wrong. Wrong fucking pedal. There we go. I'm still keeping the momentum. We've got a mile left. So I could probably start burning the fuel in a minute. Because I, I don't really need to go any further. Obviously, we're going uphill now. I'm just going to carry some momentum. And now we're going to come back off it. Still got 50%, and we've got about 0.4 to go. Alright, I'm going to actually put the foot down now. Break around the corner, so we just get around the corner. Stick it on power. Drop it, and there we go. Don't and well, I might as well just break. There we go. Don't. <sighs> okay, guys, you're gonna need this particular weather setup, and. What you're simply going to do, you're going to break a lot later than them, and they're going to break a lot earlier than you. I'm there we go, right, there we go. So you need this weather set up, this heavy rain, this is what you need. Once you get the heavy rain, uh, this is when you can get gold. By getting the heavy rain, what you need to do 
you simply need to exit the level, go on something else and come back, and that's how you get the heavy rain. But look at this, I'm going to catch up to him, why he's going to break. There we go. And it's going to be the same again down here. And that's how we get first. It's the heavy rain at the very start is the key thing to get first, yes? Just make sure you don't spin it. And that is pretty much it. So as you can see, I got 132. But look at my fastest time under second is 123. It's 10 seconds. 10 seconds. That's because it's the heavy rain. The heavy rain is the best scenario to get first. So all you have to do is just make sure you exit the level and then keep coming back onto it and then exit it at that. And it, that's the way it resets the weather. But anyway, moving on. All right, here we go foot is planted. We're going to break nice and early coming up to the, the chicane. Yep. I don't know if going over that Sasha curb helped a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get the slick stream off the Enzo. Try and cut the corners. Gonna try and catch up to the Ferrari F50. That was a bad corner for me. But anyway, we can get this because uh, we're gonna slipstream him and then we're gonna go right past him. Right, foot all the way down now, coming up to the parapolico. There's a Ferrari GTO. Oh, this is too easy. Too easy. Only took two attempts, three attempts. And there we go. Uh, to do it here are my settings so obviously it's on zero uh, and then I have my ASM on you can turn it off to let it be more lively in the car what is my controller settings it was on three three not even seven it was on three but anyway I still did it and there you go so thank you for tuning in stay tuned for more and I'll see you all soon right Hit the and, uh, bring it round Come on, control it, control it, man, come on. Please control it. Oh, this is beautiful, this is beautiful, and I've done it! I've done it! I've done it! I've done it! Yes! Honestly, I couldn't tell you what I did. But I can tell you what I did straight away, obviously. So coming up to it, you've got to hit the handbrake, but I keep my throttle on, no matter what. So I'll bring it right round, then somehow I came over here without retrying it. Then, I don't know how I controlled it, but it's just like throttle control, and you don't have to be always on it, but you need to keep it sliding, you need to keep it drifting. I just don't know how to explain it. So coming into here, I hit my handbrake and my I've still got my throttle. So that's how it brings it right round. And then I start braking, as you can see I braked, and then somehow I started drifting here. And then look, look I kind of kept the consistent drift. This is under throttle control and obviously turning. 
I just don't know how to, to explain it. But you need, I think, over 4,400 